Well, politics is nothing but people interacting with people. That's all politics is. People, we usually think of politics as going to the polls and voting. That's politics or running for some type of office. Politics is when you say good morning to somebody in the morning. That's one person talking to another. Politics is people, police, polite. That's politics. All we need is a code. See, we never even thought on that level. The white supremacists understand it because they have a code. It's called a white code. Every white person knows the white code. They don't use that language. They don't say we have a code, but they do. They know what to say, what not to say. Here comes the black person. Now is the time to go into code mode. And they got a code for how you talk to a black person, how you don't talk to a black person, uh, what you say to a black person when you want to make them happy, what to say to a black person when you want to make them angry. See, they, they learn that just by osmosis. They don't have meetings well, or they... anything like that. Black people don't have anything like that. In answer to your question, we don't have to go through all of these, you know, these fancy words like joining a party and all like that. Just get mm -hmm. a code like the white supremacists have. And a code is nothing but do's and don'ts. That's all it is. It's kindergarten simple. We don't have that. That's what a code is for. That's why I'm saying you're saying it and you're saying it yourself. And at the same time, you're asking the question about how do you do it? When you're saying it yourself, you have a code for everything that you do. Every, every breath that you take, you have a code for it. Every time you open your mouth, you speak in code. Every time you open your mouth, you speak in code like they do. And the code always works. Whatever you say works for you, not against you. That's when you know it's code. We don't have anything like that. We've never even thought of having anything like that. And that's what I've been trying to say all these years. It is so simple, it runs right past the best of minds. That's what I have found out. I mean, it is so kindergarten simple. It's just something that you do every day. That is it. It's not and, something and they like do going it. to the mountaintop and looking down in the valley and suddenly seeing your answer to everything. That's how we have been taught. No, it's what you think, speak, and do every day. That's what makes things happen. But you have to do it according to a code that always works. Now, that's where I guess I'm failing, because I don't know how to get over that simple idea. So because it's so kindergarten simple, it's what you do. Everybody does something all day long. The things that black people do are nowhere near a code. I mean, we got a head-scratching code, and it doesn't go any further than the head-scratching. Rather than just say, look at what I'm doing right this minute. What did I say this minute when I spoke to that person? Did I say something that's according to code, or did I say something that's just any kind of thing? Because everything that you say is supposed to always work for you. That's code. That means you have to do some thinking before you speak. You think, do you, think? you speak, and then you act. All right? Because that's all any organism does. Ants have a code. They don't deviate from their code. That's why ants are successful at what they do. They know the ant code. Black people are supposed to have a code. I wrote a code book. So when you go to a school, you take this code book, and then you start writing code books of your own, because all it is is what to do and what not to do when you get to that school. What questions to ask in that school and what answers to get and what to do with the answers. That's all a code is. It's real simple. I mean, it's so kindergarten simple. I guess that's why it runs past even the concept itself runs across right. the best of minds.